Good day, everybody. It is Klaxon and Hunter here. If you guys enjoy this video, you guys should subscribe for more Ruby videos. Become patrons over on Patreon to get our Ruby reactions early and follow us over on social media or join our Discord server so we can talk about Ruby together some more. So, we are going to be talking about Jock's dying. <laughs> Jock can do whatever he wants. That's what Ironwood said. In a matter of time, he'll be able to do whatever he mm -hmm. wants. Something like that, right? That was sort of the line. And he'll be able to go up to an Atlas prison and release Jock just to murder him, right? And nobody will be able to stop him because he can hack into everything. And I'm sure that the prison is, like, automated, if that makes... Not automated, but, like, uh, technologically, like, there's just sort of a fuzzy door and not a real door in, in front of the cell. You understand what I'm saying? So what do you think, Hunter? Because you were saying this more than I was. My idea is that, like, the first of all, I just love that trope of, like, I've betrayed you because there's, like, big boss like chump that he betrays to do his bidding yeah and then the people whom they're working against so i love it when sure. like big boss after he uses chump goes to chump and it's just like you fool i was using you all along and then he kills him right because i also feel if imagine the... imagine if he's like like um you know i was using you all along jock i always knew that you were a good businessman but you're a fucking idiot <laughs> when it comes to everything else right because that's what jock says yeah. he's like i knew you were a good scientist but i never knew that you were such a good businessman like watts could use that same line i'm on surprised jock you've lasted this long in atlas being this much of a dumbass yeah Something like that. But I feel get, like, yeah. and then what if he says something like that? What if he's just like, like, it was nice. It was nice working with you, brother. And then he dies. And then we're all like, what? And, and what if that's that. the whole thing with the brother theory is that Maybe it's... Watts did have something wrong done to him by Jacques. If that makes sense. Like, what if that's the whole thing? Because we had a theory, basically, that they're related and that Watts was in love with Willow and that Jock, like, basically stole her and pretended to love her and then married her and all that stuff. Whereas Watts truly loved her. And I don't know if that'll still be a thing, but it's like he he was disgraced by Ironwood for a reason. And I feel like he's like, oh, no, like, Jock and I, like, we're working together. You know what I mean? Like, Jock thinks in his head, like, oh, we're working together. Like, he couldn't be mad at me he's for anything. He's unaware of... But how the fuck do you run a giant company and be so dense? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I feel like that there is more to the story about Watts getting disgraced and that Jock mm -hmm. is somehow involved and that Jock just conveniently, like, didn't think about it. You and know so, what I mean? Didn't realize yeah. that, you know, he's not just after Ironwood. He's after everyone who wronged him. He is after the entirety of Atlas. And that means you too, bud. Uh, brother. I, <laughs> brother. <laughs> brother. If, if, can you imagine that? And he goes up, he's just like, I hated Ironwood, but I hated you most. Yeah. Like, you like, you did this. You benign my work. You pushed me out of the company, and you took Willow from me. Yeah. Goodbye, brother. Pushes him out of the airlock. I love how you keep saying that, even though I'm imagining like a regular prison. Well, because I imagine because the prison and because the prison that, that Roman torch Torchwick, was, yeah, was it was in an the airplane, ship. Yeah. So I imagine that like I don't know, like he's in a mask or something, and it's like we're here to like rest. Like Ooh, Watts comes in. That would be such good. Yes, um, that would like be a twist. such good. Uh, not a parallel, but Jock falls from Atlas. Like you know oh. what I mean? Like Atlas is. In in the sky held to he a higher standard grace. he's in like the prison but he falls out of atlas and like down to mantle and he dies like that's like mm, that's a nice little narrative because because now what i'm because now i'm imagining the scene that he shows up he opens it but he isn't immediately like i'm here to kill you it's like i'm here to rescue you yeah and as they run over and jocks is complaining like why would you do that Slowly it reveals that not only is uh, Watts mad at Ironwood, but he's also mad at Jacques. Yeah. And it's at the very end, when they're like about to get on the airship back down the mantle, that he's like, you maligned my work, you kicked me out of the company, and you took Willow from me. Push his brother like Scar. In yeah, the Lion King. that's exactly he that was what our whole brother theory and then it's was the based background on. Background of him falling into the I don't know back to mantle into the mantle into the riot. And then we like, get like we get a wide shot of like just Atlas and him falling like falling from grace. Yeah. And then we get like a low shot kind of like Raven in the volume five finale where she's looking at Cinder falling yeah, down to the ground. Yeah, but it's what? It's oh. that and Watson. And, and Jock won't Mwah. survive because he's not a fucking maiden. So. Jock Call me Eddie. Do you think? <laughs> oh God. Do you? Here's my question. Yeah. Do you think? That that is why Watts did it because now he knows that Willow was alone and that Willow has been being abused by Jacques 
You know what I'm saying? Like, Willow has cameras all over the house, and that's a whole other video. But what if Watt comes back mm. to the house, and he's just like, but I did this for you, Willow. We can run away together. You know what I mean? But Willow is just like, I know what you did. Yeah, like, and, I but, know. And the and cameras are everywhere. Watt, and that's, yeah, so maybe she saw, you know, everything go down. Yeah. She saw all the dirty business. Well, like, she said he was a did. strange man, but I feel yeah. like there was some hesitation to explain to Weiss more. Because that was maybe. people's whole, like, oh, see, like, Willow doesn't recognize him. No. Like, I feel like she does, but she just didn't want to tell Weiss their that association. That would be really cool if Willow was the one that killed Watts. Yeah! If so, like, we can take Damn. him home, it's like... Years like it can be everything we ever wanted. It's like you're not what I wanted, and then she pushes him off, and then ah, oh, brother. Yeah, exactly. I like that, and you know why I like that too. And it's not just because we think that Watts is Whitley's dad, but because apparently in the DC comics, Willow used to be a huntress, and we do have to mm. read that comic. But I mm. feel like there may be a clue in there as mm. to all of this stuff. And so, you know, if she was a hu a huntress and she still has her huntsman license, then she would be legally allowed to neutralize the terrorist threat. Also, that would right. be really cool if, like, what if, like, I don't know, Weiss's weapon was her old weapon? Yeah, And she takes, that's and, like, cute. when, like, like I don't know, Watts tries, or, like, Weiss tries to beat Watts, but, like, the paladin armor comes out, and because I guess he was involved in the paladin product, yeah. you know, he beats the snot out of Weiss, and then, like, Willow grabs, like, her sword, Weiss's sword, which was once her sword, and kicks his ass, would be an wow. excellent moment. Wow. Wow. Our mind. That's probably not going to happen. It's but like not. someone's uh, fan fiction of that would be like spicy. But yeah, I feel like oh. our idea of Jacques dying is good. I also feel like him returning to the manor for Willow is good if they do have a past history. I'm like convinced. Like nothing can convince me that he's not Whitley's father. I'm sorry. Or, you know, just because like look at how Whitley looks compared to Jacques. And I know that all the schnees are sort of long legged, but like Watts and Whitley. He's got that Waluigi jeans. You know what I'm saying? You know? And here's the thing, okay? Whitley was designed in volume four, like for volume four. We mm -hmm. never saw Whitley until volume four. And you know yes. who else we didn't see until volume four? What? Jacques. Watts. Or yes, Watts. And yeah. so we can see, right, that maybe they were designed together for this perfect purpose, that they were supposed to be lanky. You know, because like, Weiss never even talked about that she had a fucking brother. So I feel like they just invented him for volume four for some yeah. reason. And so what if this is like, this is all connected. I mean, this it's is all also, the reason. It's also that she also doesn't really talk about her her mom a lot before Yeah, but we either. knew she had one. I mean... You know what I mean? Presumably she <laughs> did. She wasn't grown in a vat. Or was she? Anyway. Was she a robot? Oh, that's our other thing about Whitley being a robot. Yeah. What if that's like... I don't know. I feel like if Jacques dies, I feel like that would be another thing that Watts is just like, like, you know, you, you ignored my work, you kicked me out of the company, and you stole Willow from me, but I fucked your wife, and your son is actually my son. Push! Long live here. the king, slash! <laughs> I love how you've done that three times now. Thank you, Hunter. You're Any other welcome. thoughts on Jock dying? I think he's gonna die, and I feel like I like the, like our idea for Watts doing it. Yeah, um, um, I don't know. Where I know Watts lots of people right want now. Weiss and Winter to do it, but I feel like they wouldn't. You know what I mean? Because they're not like that. They wouldn't kill... Kill their dad. They wouldn't no. kill their dad. And so I feel like no. that that may be another like they they put his ass in prison, and I mean yeah. Weiss, Weiss did, which is a. There's an interesting, moment, like, but... my enemy and my enemy is my friend here, because we sort of talked about, like, what if Watts is work, like, worked with Weiss? Like, this was before the volume mm -hmm. started, right? So we had this idea, like, what if Watts was working with, like, Weiss, and then Weiss didn't know who Watts was, and, like, we had that entire idea? But what if it's, like, like, I'm, you know, I hated my father, but I didn't want him to die. And she says that to Watts, and now she has, like, beef with Watts. I think that would be sort of interesting. But, yeah, Jacques is gonna die. Like, he's just not... Because what is he gonna do? Rot in prison forever? I mean, maybe, but... But I feel like that's too easy. You know, you, you want I it guess, to be dramatic. on another hand, okay, yes. the Albin brother that still was alive, the twins, the Faunus twins, and yes. then Tifa, or whatever her name is. Yeah, a lot and, of those Faunus people are just in rotting Batman in prison Batman or somewhere. whatever, like, they're yeah, just rotting Yuma. in prison somewhere. But I feel like that's not... They were a lot more minor than Jacques Yeah, was. like, that's not enough for Jacques Schnee. Like, there has to Jacques be Jacques has been a more. villain for, like, volumes, yeah. both they need to on kill screen him. and off He has screen. to die. He needs to have more and of a And that way Willow can take back her prison. company and it can be this whole, like, mm -hmm. thing. And that would be nice. Anyway, that is it. Uh, we will see you guys later. Bye.